Hi, I'm Jordan Rubin. Welcome to Ancient Medicine Today, brought to you by DrAxe.com. We're going to talk about a powerful vitamin called folate. We're going to tell you why you need it, we're going to tell you how to get it, and we're going to tell you what form is best for you. Ancient Medicine Today is here each weekday, Monday through Friday at 10.30 a.m. Central Time, and you can watch hundreds of videos on demand all by subscribing to this YouTube channel. We're going to talk about this B vitamin that you've heard of primarily related to pregnancy and developing of a healthy child, but folate does so much more. Let's get started. What is folate? You might want to know this trivia answer. Folate is vitamin B9, so ask your friend, hey, what's vitamin B9? It's called folate. It's needed for copying and synthesizing DNA, producing new cells, supporting nerve and immune functions. It is a water-soluble B vitamin, which means it doesn't store, so you need to replenish it. Naturally present in some foods, and a supplement version of it is called folic acid. Remember that for a little bit later. There's a difference though. Folate is naturally occurring in foods, easily absorbed, and metabolized in the small intestine. Folic acid is a synthetic B vitamin in supplements and fortified foods. It requires a specific enzyme called dihydrofolate reductase. Another good trivia question if you can remember that one. B9 and dihydrofolate reductase. Those are gonna make you sound really smart at the next dinner party. Side effects of consuming folic acid, sex hormone changes, concentration issues, sleep and mood problems, and it can make you deficient in B12. High levels of folic acid are linked to cancer, and folic acid is a mandatory food fortifier, which is kind of scary. Now here's the deal, folks. If you're taking a supplement and folic acid is in it, if the vitamin is fermented, particularly if it says fermented whole food, it can be much safer, but we wanna go for the food source of folate, if at all possible. How do you know if you are deficient in folate? If you get sick often, could be a folate deficiency. Chronic low energy, poor digestion, developmental problems during pregnancy and infancy, anemia, canker sores in the mouth, tender and swollen tongue, could be a folate deficiency, changes in mood or irritability, pale skin, premature gray hair. Those can all be symptoms of a folate deficiency. And by the way, the standard American diet does not provide enough folate rich foods, which is why the government fortifies. But as we talked about, they're fortifying with the wrong form. Let's get going here and talk about some of the benefits of consuming folate. Healthier pregnancies. If you've heard of folate, you know it's important for pregnancy. A lot of good research on that. It helps prevent anemia, and it can also uh, lower homocysteine levels. Possible cancer prevention. A stronger heart, that's due to the homocysteine, protects your brain and can help fight depression. These are powerful benefits from vitamin B9 folate. Now we're gonna talk about 12 folate-rich foods. By the way, if you just started watching us, I'm Jordan Rubin, and we're here on Ancient Medicine today telling you about the benefits of vitamin B9 folate, and now we're gonna talk about 12 foods that are rich in folate. By the way, you still have time to send this link to somebody who needs this information. Think about all the benefits of folate, and you wanna know what foods are rich in this powerful vitamin. Spinach, in fact, all greens. Look how much folate is in spinach. One cup of cooked spinach, 262 micrograms, MCG stands for micrograms, which is one thousandth of a milligram. I love the metric system. I just don't feel like we use it enough in America. Just wanted to mention that. Number two, beef liver. I know it's not a favorite food. I know you're probably watching and saying, my mom made me eat liver and onions. Liver is so nutritious, especially when it comes from a grass-fed organic source. Three ounces, 215 micrograms. That is a powerful food, high in folate. Number three, black-eyed peas. I'm not talking about the rock group. I'm talking about these little legumes. Look at that, 210 micrograms of folate, vitamin B9. Again, I want you to have all this great information. I have not had a black-eyed pea in a very long time. They look so cool on the screen. I need to add that to my diet. Asparagus, good for a lot of reasons. Eight spears, 
178 micrograms, we probably should qualify what size the spear is because I've seen really big spears and really thin spears, but eight average spears contains 178 micrograms. That's nearly half of the daily value. Broccoli, one cup cooked, 104 micrograms. I think you're getting the theme here. Green vegetables have folate. Brussels sprouts, one cup cooked contains 156 micrograms of folate. Mustard greens, I've not had this in a while, very rich in sulfur compounds and folate, 104 micrograms when cooked. Kidney beans are another good source, 92 micrograms. Romaine lettuce, 64 micrograms. You're seeing the more green, the more folate. Avocado, I love avocados, one half cup a nifty 59 micrograms of folate and all kinds of other great benefits, potassium, vitamin E, monounsaturated fats, really, really amazing. Wheat germ, which is the most nutrient dense part of wheat. Keep in mind, if you do purchase wheat germ, which is one of the original health foods, you wanna make sure to store it in the refrigerator because it can go rancid very quickly. 40 micrograms in two tablespoons, that's a lot. And orange, you might've seen orange juice recommended as a source of folate. One medium orange, 29 micrograms. Orange juice has a lot more. Folks, I'm Jordan Rubin here for Ancient Medicine Today talking about folate, why you need it, how to get it, and if you know somebody, maybe a child-bearing age female, someone who's pregnant, maybe someone who really wants to know how to construct the best diet possible, I recommend that you click the share button, share this link because folate is so important and the World Health Organization believes that there's a widespread deficiency in folate leading to birth defects and other issues. Precautions, folate from food is usually fine. That's the theme, folks. When you eat food, you usually don't overdose on any nutrients. Folic acid supplements can interact with medications and aggravate health conditions. Remember, if you're consuming a multivitamin or a B vitamin, Folic acid's okay, better if it's in its fermented form. Folate in food is even better. Here's some interactions, methotrexate, anti-epileptic medications, and sulfasalazine. They can all interact with folic acid supplementation. So what are the benefits of folate? One more time, this powerful nutrient, vitamin B9, something that we all need for healthier pregnancies, to prevent anemia, possible cancer prevention, stronger heart, protecting our brain, and fighting depression. Now you know that folate is so wonderful. And where do you get it, folks? A lot of green vegetables, liver, certain legumes have it, avocado, orange, you saw that list. Those are delicious foods, really healthy for you. And speaking of foods, Ancient Medicine Today is brought to you by DrAxe.com. We're here Monday through Friday at 10.30 a.m. Central Time giving you powerful information to transform your health. I wanna encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, join hundreds of thousands of people who love this powerful information. And speaking of information, DrAxe.com is the number one natural health website in America. I encourage you to head on over there to find nearly 2,000 articles on herbs, spices, essential oils, superfoods, hundreds of recipes, articles on just about every diet and health condition you can think of. Subscribe and join nearly our 2 million subscribers who help take their health to the next level by learning how to use food as medicine. I'm Jordan Rubin for Ancient Medicine Today. See you next time. Hi, Dr. Axter, I wanna say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video, and also don't forget to subscribe if you wanna get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.